Okay. He'll just lift up one finger and say, hold on one moment, and he'll put the phone to his ear. Oh, hi, honey. I heard you were looking for the call me. So this is Bacchus. So good to meet you. Um, I heard a little bit about you already. You're, you're Ragnar, right? Yes. See, I oh, am... good. Oh, good. Put me on speaker. Okay. Put me on speaker. Let's see. So, did you put on speaker? Hi, Elmira. Hi. Uh, are, you, are you good? Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Let's see. All right. Good. All right. I see you found him. And and you're doing the right thing. You're not listening to me, no honey badger. And you're doing the right thing. I'm standing right next to you. You shut up. This is my operation still. Oh, yes, yes, I know, honey. You, you, you can talk all you want. I, so, so, Ragnar, you want to call me? Oh, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> First of all, why are you looking for me? And why does See, Honey Badger want to kill me? Oh, uh, Honey Badger. Uh, he, he likes making little badasses. You know, Honey Badger's a badass. He likes having a bunch of badass Jeru with him. Uh, that's, that's his prerogative. Uh, I don't have to same goal as him i just want to talk to you i just want to talk i just want to ask a few questions with you hey go ahead all right so what i gotta know uh where's vigo at do i actually even know where he is right now manhattan okay why are you asking Oh, but, you, you know, it, it's him and the one of the dragon they've got. Uh, they're, they're doing something pretty dangerous. I had, I had a little vision. I have those. And I saw they were going to do something creepy in Manhattan. And, I, and, I, and I, it's not going to be good for anybody. A little more specific. Vigo is a close associate of mine. Oh, I don't, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. No, no, not, not that. No. Uh, let's see. Uh, you ever seen Ghostbusters, honey? Sure. Yeah, he wants to do something like that. He wants to do a Ghostbuster. Uh, uh, no, it's not, not, not very good. No. Well, I so. Know this uh, all I know is he's somewhere in Manhattan. Chico, you're saying? <laughs> Just laughing. <laughs> yeah, the... Bacchus is a way of killing tension. <laughs> I'm honestly yeah, like, kind of here for it because so this 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 yeah. was getting really tight, so I'm kind of happy for it. <laughs> oh. I, I also love that the way the way Bacchus talks, it's like it's it's like half. You ever seen Rain Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, now that you mention it. 7, 7 p.m., gotta get home for Wapner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he's doing a Ghostbuster, and he's uh, he's got Grisha with him, and, and Grisha's going to do something bad with him, too. And I have that night guy that walks with them. I, I don't know his name. He wears the helmet all the time, kind of like you do. Uh, but I don't think he has a face underneath it, and he's got a—he's got the one other guy with him. I, I think he's like a—he's like an Elvis Presley type. He—he he likes to pretend he's Elvis. These are all close associates of mine who have saved my neck on more than one occasion. So, what I'll say is, have your talk with them. That's fine. If I find that any of the Garu Nation has harmed them. I will take it as a personal offense. Well, if, if any of them have, have harmed them, uh, let, let, let's go over what you say about harming. Uh, so so no final death. We're not going to do that. Uh, how, about, how about a steak? How about just staking them? Is that okay? Why would you need to stake them? Uh, well, well, you know... Uh, um, 
Uh, two of them are Zamichi. Uh, two Zamichi, they, they're like talking to their beast. I know Grisha's really big into that path of metamorphosis. And I think uh, Vigo might be doing a little bit of the same. It, he looks really different than he did four years ago. And uh, that last guy, the guy in the helmet, uh, I, I don't think he's human anymore. Understood. They probably would be a little bit difficult to talk to if they weren't strained in some way or the other. So, so, so we, so we could do staking, right? Uh, what, what about, uh, what about just torpor? Why would we just put them in torpor? You don't harm them. So, uh, okay, so, so no torpor, just, just a stake. Okay, got it, got it. You do what's necessary just to get them to have a civilized conversation with you. I know sometimes they're not exactly uh, inclined towards civil conversations. So if a little force is necessary, I won't begrudge you it. See, However, um, good, they are good. close okay, to uh, yeah. Yeah, it's close associates, your friends. I know you don't want to have your friends hurt. It's at this point, Grim throws a car over here. <laughs> so a, oh, oh, what was that? There was a really loud crunch. Are you okay? Oh, that was Grim. He comes Sorry about over that. Here and sits down. <laughs> he has to keep his muscles uh, and trained. <laughs> He's so <laughs> aggro. <laughs> He's livid. Yeah, There's that, too much talking to you for a vampire that we can take. <laughs> well, well, it, he he sounds pretty mad, all right. Okay, so so I'm gonna go be on the phone just a little bit while with you. Uh, we don't need all the locations of uh all the all of your associates. We just need to know one of them. Um, but by the way, Reynard probably would go over to Grim and just kind of try to calm him down a little bit while they talk. He probably knows Grimmel enough to know he's about to fucking go off. As yeah, would Chico, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I swear, the next one will kill. Uh, the, the last thing we need is to get a famous frenzying in the middle of New York Street. <laughs> oh, word. Um... <laughs> it's like the more he hears words, the more angrier he gets. <laughs> <laughs> the average a rude brain a lot cell. Of talking. <laughs> Pretty much. Chico pulls out one of those ficus leaf wrap joints in his coat pocket. This will help you calm down. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does not go down to want one. At, at this point, he's also in beast form. <laughs> it, it, just gently apply it to the wolf's mouth. Have him breathe it in. Just secondhand smoke him. He'll be fine. Get him contact high. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's chewing on it. Yes. Like physically chewing on it. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to cook it. In, supposed to cook it in brownie first. Yeah. No, you can eat pot leaves. They just taste like shit. <laughs> Never seen someone do that. I'm impressed by your fortitude, as always. <laughs>